My name is Sister from Cosmo Game CS, and today we're going to be doing the basic pen testing box on TryHacky. Now, let's get started. Once you have the website open, you will need to connect. So, go to your profile, click on access, and download your OpenVPN file. It's important to run this command sudo openvpn and your VPN file. Make sure that you change the name, mine is Sysstream, yours will be your username, and then you, you're connected to the TryHackMe network. The second thing you'll want to do is go to TryHackMe and boot up your box. Mine is already started. It will take a couple minutes to fully boot up, so make sure you give it some time. You can also add an hour, which I did, to make sure it doesn't just go out once when you're doing your box. So. Let's get started on this box. It's made by John Hammond, so it's a pretty good beginner box and that's why I chose this one in particular. Let's get started. So deploy the machine and connect to our network. Once you got your IP copied, you will need to run Nmap. This Nmap is a network mapping tool. Uh, it will basically give you all the ports um, on the machine which are open or closed uh, or filtered or whatever and give you that, the information you need to get started hacking this machine. So let's get started. We're gonna run nmap sc sv a t5 and then your IP. Let me explain what port these are. So sc uh, is the de default scripts, sv is for the version numbers, a is for the host enumeration, and t5 is to make it go faster basically. Then you're gonna paste your IP there and you can get started. I'm gonna pause the video for a second and let it finish up, but it will take maybe two minutes or faster if possible. So the scan has finished. Let's take a look at the results. So what I'm seeing here is we have SSH open. It's running OpenSSH 7.2. That's maybe vulnerable, we don't know yet. Then we have an HTTP server, looks like SMB, another HTTP server, and yet another HTTP server running Tomcat. So the first thing I always do is check for the default just uh, port AD HTTP server. We can go and access that by just going to the IP in our browser. Okay, undergoing maintenance. Let's check the source code first. Check our dev note section if you need to know what to work on. Okay, the first thing I always do when enumerating a HTTP server is running a GoBuster scan. I already have the GoBuster scan over here in my notes, so I'll just copy it and paste it in my terminal. So we're gonna use GoBuster. You're gonna do GoBuster dir for directory brute forcing, tag you for the URL. I'm gonna copy my IP, so I have it. You're gonna paste it. Tag w is for the word list. So I'm using the directory list 2.3 medium from Seclists. Uh, it's a pretty good uh, word list to uh, fuzz directories. Uh, I use it all the time. And I, I use B50 for 50 threads, which will basically make it go faster. So let's get started. Oh, we already have one. It's slash development. Oh yeah, they were talking about check our donors. Okay. Let's go to that slash development. Now let's check this out. Ooh, it looks like a couple notes. Let's see, dev.txt and j.txt. Let's open it real quick. I've been was messing with that strut stuff. It's pretty cool. I think I might be need to get. Okay, so I see dash k and dash j. Maybe that's usernames or users, but we can't really do anything with a first letter of a name. Um, let's check the other note. Auditioning. Okay, so they're talking about weak credentials. That's that's good to know. For J. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Okay, so most of the time I just let this can run, uh, just because you don't really know uh, what's on here. Uh, but I know because I've already done this box and I know there's nothing useful. Uh, on this website anymore. So I'll just stop the scan and go ahead and enumerate another port. So the second port I already enumer always enumerate is SMB. 
we see we have 139 and 445. These are both SMB server. You can see some SMB D, 3X, um, and their information. So what you can use is SMB client. Uh, this is basically a tool to uh, get and try, try and get access into the SMB shares to see if there's any share that is um, open or access accessible by everyone. Um, so I'm gonna just do that. The command for that is SMB client pack L four backslashes VIP, which I, oh, that sucks. Okay, let me just get that back. There we go. And two backslashes. So now we're gonna list all the shares on the network. Um, you, whenever there's password for work group system, you can just press enter uh, to leave it blank. And we can see there are two shares. We have anonymous and IPC with a dollar sign. This dollar sign is really important because it means that you will not be able to access this share without any credentials. But we have anonymous that we can access, so we'll try and access that. Remove the tag L because you're not gonna list the share. We you're just gonna access it and then just press enter. So, looks like we got it. Let's try and list all the, ooh, staff.txt, that might be important. Let's just get this file and put it on our local computer. I'm gonna make a quick directory and call it basic, cd into basic, and move our staff Staff.txt into basic. Okay, so now we have the staff.txt and we can try and get it out. Announcement to staff. Please do not upload non work related items to this shit. I know it's all fun, but this is how mistakes happen. This means you to jam. Oh, and it's from K. Let's see, we'll keep that in mind. Uh, let's just make a um, notes file, txt. Let's just add jam, jam, and k. Add some jams. So now we know that we have a jam username and a k username. The next thing you probably want to do. Oh, let's first read this. Find the service exposed by the machine that we've already done. What is the name of the hidden directory on the web server? It's slash development. That's the one we found with the notes in. Now, user brute forcing, user brute forcing to find username and password. So the username we found was Jan and Kate. Um, so we're gonna try these two uh, and see if we can get something with Hydra. Hydra is basically a brute forcer. Um, you can brute force credentials and with this we're gonna use SSH we saw we had port 22 open that is SSH and that's a way to get into the machine uh, from your terminal and we can also brute force that so let's go ahead and copy that command I have here so tag L is for username tag P is your word list I'm gonna use rocky.txt it's basically a well-known uh, word list a lot of people use and then I'm just gonna copy my IP again. And we're gonna put SSH there to let it let it know that we're gonna use SSH. So let's try this out. I'm gonna pause my uh, recording again. Uh, I will be back once this is done. Welcome back. So it looks like we found a password for Jan. It is R Mando. Let's copy this. Put this in our notes. Then use notes.txt. Let's do jam. Okay. So we know that Armando is the right password for this jam user. So once you have that, we can try and SSH into the box. We're going to do SSH jam at the IP 10.10.68. Uh, 119 damn I can't type and we're gonna do yes and paste in the password 
Looks like we're in. Okay, let's see. We don't have anything in our home directory. Let's try and cap this out. Permission denied. Let's try and see if we have rooms. Nope, okay, we may not run sudo on basic two. So maybe we should try and run Linpeace. We're gonna go to linpeace.sh on GitHub. We're gonna go over here and we're just gonna go to releases, linpeace.sh and this is installed. So we're gonna move downloads linpeace over here and now we have it. So because this box is inside of the network, it will not like us doing um, connections or requests to the outside of the network. So we are also in a network, so we can just communicate with it that way. So we're gonna go and start a Python server, Python pack M, H Python 3, pack M, HTTP server, 80, and we're gonna probably have to do sudo in front of it. So looks like the server has started. Let's just get my IP, I have config. Let's do this again, and now it works. Okay, so <clears throat> this is basically gonna run a script that will give us a the info we need to basically uh, prevesc or do anything else with the machine. I'm just let it run and I hope it's gonna give us some good information. Oh, hold on. We have an IDRSA. So an IDRSA is basically a token or, or a key you can use to SSH into users without password, uh, without needing the password for that certain user. Let's just manually go to CDK, cd2.ssh, uh, and then we're gonna cat ID RSA. Looks like we need a passphrase, huh? But if we leave it blank, no. Okay. So we see it uses a press phrase to encrypt the IDRSA. We can try and crack it with John. Yeah, we're gonna try that. We're gonna try and crack the passphrase with John. Now, because this is an IDRSA, we're gonna need to convert it to a crackable format for John. So we're gonna use pipe uh, SSH to John. So I'm gonna do user bin SSH to John. I'm going to ID RSA and we're gonna output it into John.txt. Okay, that's cool. So now we have the John.txt and we are going to crack it with John itself. So we're gonna type John our john dot i dot john dot text and then we're going to dash dash word lists is equal to user share word lists rock u dot txt so we're gonna let that run give it a couple of minutes oh it already found it that's good okay so we know that the password for this is beeswax. So now we can just try and log back in with that passphrase. And I'm gonna do B wax beeswax. And there we go, we're in. Now we're in the K user. Let's see what we have. We have a pass.back file. Let's maybe try and go back to our trihackly. 
So what service? Yeah, we find the passwords, we use SSH. We enumerated the machine with LNPs. The username we found was K. And then if you find another user, what can you do with this information? We just brute force the passphrase. And what's the final password you obtain? Let's see, is it in the pass.back? And it is, and there you go. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, have a good one. Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here, and I wanted to introduce you guys to the Happy Hacker Site Plan. The Happy Hacker Site Plan is a plan where you guys can support us for only $1 a month. That's right, $1. With this comes exclusive benefits like courses, articles, videos, and access to our entire cybersecurity knowledge base. Um, if this interests you and you guys want to um, get access to all this, check out the link in the description. It's only $1, so we definitely appreciate your guys' support. Um, anyway, enjoy the video and uh, happy hacking.